few years. As I've made clear, by virtually every measure, President Putin's invasion of Ukraine has been a strategic failure. Yet, while Putin has failed to achieve his aims, he hasn't given up on them. He's convinced that he can simply outlast Ukraine and its supporters, sending more and more Russians to their deaths, inflicting more and more suffering on Ukraine's civilians. He thinks that even if he loses the short game, he can still win the long game. Putin is wrong about this, too. How do you not understand that words matter and how you frame your argument has a great deal of relevance to how your adversary reacts? Again, this is the language of the Cold War, which Biden does not seem to understand. And the very provocative and, I would say, mind-numbingly inaccurate language used by Blinken only is going to encourage Putin to continue to do what he's doing. Putin knows what Blinken said is complete nonsense. Putin will not take seriously anything said by Blinken. So I think the biggest danger to what you're talking about regarding the potential escalation is miscalculation, which I would argue a lot of folks are miscalculating, and then just flat out miscalculation relating to how an adversary is going to react. Uh, this will not end well if Europeans listen to Tony Blinken.